so hello everyone welcome to Lorenzo data solutions my name is Anipi Abraham SAP success factors consultant corporate trainer so before I continue to say anything in this episode I want to say that at any point that I'm going to explain it is my own opinion and my own view and doesn't represent anyone so now I want to explain in this episode about the latest releases for uh, success factors recruitment management H1 2022 and I'm sure that most of you have gone through my previous short videos on YouTube I have tried my best to explain about some of the releases in a detailed manner the same way I want to explain for H1 2022 for recruiting and I hope it helps all those who are watching it the first uh, thing everyone should remember that H1 2022 the release schedule the preview release takes place 15th April 2022 the production release May 20th 2022 so the first thing that I want to explain about uh, the anonymize selected job applications in a recruitment system so from this release you can uh, actually anonymize all the sensitive job application data that you have actually missed during your initial anonymize configuration so <coughs> we have a data retention management or uh, we have a legacy DRM which is a data retention management whenever you are creating a purge request for all uh, <coughs> inactive job applications from the data retention management so now you have one new option is available for all the job applications which allows you to anonymize all the sensitive data which missed your during initial anonymization so that now the new option is you can actually upload that uh, job application data in a .csv format. So why SAP has introduced because this feature enables you to create a purge request to anonymize job applications that we missed during your initial customization. For this anonymization you don't need to contact SAP a product support now you can see there is a in this option they want those who want to anonymize this particular job application data in a, a data retention management so usually you need to select this option selected job application choose that CSV template and upload it and you can click on launch the uh, application immediately so all the job application data will be anonymized as for the data retention management feature which allows you to control to protect the sensitive data and one more thing what I want to explain is uh, the second one the migration of a job role tags tags from a job uh, description manager to job profile builder JF JPB we can say in recruitment so when you are using a job uh, a job description manager and uh, now you want to switch to job profile builder uh, to use your job profiles earlier you were doing it manually but now you can no longer require to migrate the job role tags manually so when you switch to job profile manager by enabling the use of the job profile in a requisition option in admin center you need to go to the manage recruiting settings and uh, when you go to the manage recruiting settings you will have an option like uh, job description manager to job profile builder you know you will find an option like a new uh, you know background job now it's going to migrate the job role tags from a job requisition uh, sorry job uh, description manager to job uh, profile builder so as important note please remember if you, you see this job profile tab on a requisition tab it means that you are already using job profile builder if in case if you don't see the job profile tab on a 
job requisition page on a dashboard so still you are going to do manually so i sap recommends you to switch on to that so that this enhancement eliminates the need to perform manually it allows you automatically it is going to switch from a jdm to jpb and i hope you understood what i have explained the third major thing about this release is about the post the externally posted private jobs to job boards so now that means you can uh, post the externally posted private jobs to job boards even through job is not a publicly posted to the external corporate sites so to post externally posted private jobs to job boards what sap tells you you have to go on enable to allow the recruiters to post the externally posted private jobs to the job boards if you want to use that you need to go to admin center then there is an option called manage recruiting posting settings page and go and enable it so sap has in and introduced this enhancement because some countries regions as for the legality how to post jobs on a specific job boards for a particular time before posting them to the external career sites okay right so another is uh, there is a one country uh, like uh, Lithuania, local support for uh, success factors. Uh, lo we can say the language local IT underscore LT supports. As an administrator, you can enable Lithuanian local. As for the system support, you can go to the system and you can enable multi language pack support. And even this is a code you can identify and uh, this are all about some of the major updates for uh, recruitment management h1 2022 so thank you for watching this video and i'm sure that it helped you with a better new enhancement features that i've tried to explain in a simple fix in a simplified manner thank you so much once again for watching see you all again next time with a new topic.